hey, this is Aaron, the Metal Theologian. So this is kind of a, a different kind of video, because we're not really going to talk about records today. Except for the one we're listening to right now, which uh, is Entombed, Clandestine. Um, so in this house, we are pretty big fans of uh, what Hollywood and uh, Who Killed Captain Alex. Um, kind of boosted that before. I think that uh, we've got the movie going in the background again right now. I encourage you to watch if you haven't. It's on YouTube for free. It's an hour that's so good that, like, when you're on your deathbed, you'll, like, think back over your life and think of, like, the hours most well spent. And this is one of the things you'll think of. You'll be like, I never spent an hour more or productively or more well than when I was watching Who Killed Captain Alex. Yeah. So let me get some. I'm fighting off a cold, so I'm actually genuinely thirsty. Usually I'm just fucking acting, but I'm actually really thirsty. So uh, we're going to open this up. I'm drinking AL8 or AL81. And this is, um, I, I did this once before, I think a long time ago, but it's really good. It's, uh, it's like this special thing from Kentucky, Winchester, Kentucky, and my local Grossateria has started stocking it, kind of surprisingly. But um, I'm stoked, because it's good shit, and um, we're going to bust it open. You guys can't see it. All right. So here we go. Now, I'm not sure I'm a Spencer today, because I don't feel well. It's like halfway between like the ginger ale. That's funny, is my sense of taste is fucked. I'm actually speaking from memory. So sorry, I kind of feel like I'm cheating. But um, it's like halfway between a ginger ale and like a lemon lime. Like it has a lot more of a ginger bite than you would expect in like a Verner's or something like that. So it's like no shit ginger ale. It's not like, a, you know, blend ice or something like that. But, um, you know, but the lemon lime isn't like cloying either. It's just really good. It says, uh, Crisp, clean, real ginger with a hint of citrus for bracing pop. Or bracing pep, I'm sorry. Yeah. So this is really good. I do recommend this. And uh, it's kind of a Kentucky classic, too. And how many things can you say that about in the world that they're Kentucky classics? All right. So... Spencer and I are big fans. I have to thank Spencer for this because he discovered this. And some of you I've talked with privately too. I've talked about who killed Captain Alex, okay? I wore a t-shirt in the last video. But we sent away because they're two different t-shirts. Some was sold out. We got a big package today, okay? We saw the thing, but we had to go send away for the DVD anyway, right? Especially because it was signed. So we got this thing in the mail today. I love that they reused a, uh, an envelope. And, uh... I was going to cover up my address. But it had that stamp in the corner, which unfortunately got cut through. But you see that? Macaulay wood. So in this pack, we just got one of these wonderful t-shirts. Macaulay wood, Uganda. Because it is, after all, Uganda's first uh, action movie. Yeah, first super action movie. Ramon Film Productions. That's right. Um, named after his grandmother's, actually, which is kind of nice. But So anyway, we we're expecting the t-shirts and DVD, but we got like this whole fucking big pile of shit that they sent us. So I'm just going to share this. So first of all, there's a little so, note. It says, here's the first note, okay? This DVD was produced entirely in Wakaliwood, Uganda, from the home of Nabwana IGG. Using the computers he built himself, which there's documentary shit about that you can see it. If you find there's a problem with this disc, we are happy to replace it. Though please be aware that performance will vary over time with normal usage. Note that there is no menu on this DVD. Most of our customers in Uganda have either lost or broken their remote controls, so it helps if the movie just starts. The director's commentary begins right after the feature film. That's pretty cool because they're both on there. Thank you for supporting us and for loving action movies. Well, you know I love action movies. This is the second one, okay? Check that out with a little Macaulaywood stamp on there, too. Thank you so much for purchasing our t-shirt and for supporting Macaulaywood. We make the shirts ourselves, and maybe you will see the images crooked or some paint drip on the sleeve. We are not perfect, but try very hard. Please know enjoying we made this shirt for you. 
or please enjoy knowing. <laughs> that was, I thought they wrote it wrong. I said it wrong. Also knowing, enjoy knowing that all merchandise is now 80% Super Bola free. And we very happy with this number, but if you're feeling sick and head explodes, please make a video and send to us. We want to make you a Ugandan movie star before death. <laughs> Super action. <laughs> IGG, Steven Senegal, Ebola Hunter, which is like their next movie. Wakaliwood. So if you've never heard of this, apparently Wakaliwood is what they've kind of dubbed uh, Wakaliga, which is like a slum outside of Kampala in Uganda. And this is no shit. I mean, I don't know if it's really the first action movie ever made in Uganda, but it's the first one that's ever made it outside of Uganda. And they make these movies on a budget of like, you know, 150, 200 bucks. Which is insane. So anyway, here's my DVD. So check it out. First of all, it's signed by the director. Okay. Um, oh, the thing is shut. Wait, so is this the same picture as on the poster, Spencer? Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'll just show the back, okay? Because we'll get there. So here we go. You see how it's a sensation that swept the slums of Uganda. And it has an English language, the first English language VJ. So apparently they have this thing called the VJ, which is a video joker, who like comments through the movie and talks. And it's funny, because like for the first like 10 minutes or so when you're watching this, it's kind of annoying. But then once you get used to him, he actually is awesome and like really enhances the movie even. It's just like a different way. What it's like is like the uh, reggae DJs that you hear, they're on records, but like coming out of the dance halls in Jamaica, you know, where someone would play a record and the DJ would sort of rap and toast over it. Do the whole thing, that's kind of like what the video joker is. So, um, anyway, alright, so now we're getting to the good stuff here. Uh, should I show the posters first or last? Last. Save the best for last. Well, then I've got to save this for last. Yeah, actually, okay. you're right. <laughs> so, we got a couple of stickers. <laughs> alright, Wakaliwood, well, Uganda. So good. Wakaliwood. Well, <laughs> okay. And check this out. We got fucking four posters. And they're signed. Okay? And like you think they're signed. And I'm not an autograph guy, okay? Like, uh, you know, SMF Captain Howdy. Wonderful guy, wonderful place where our taste diverges. He's a total autograph hound, and I'm totally not. I really, for the most part, give a crap. But dude, these guys are in fucking Uganda, and it's the whole fucking cast. Look at this. Ramon Film Productions, who killed Captain Alex? Look at that, that's so awesome. She's smoking, looking all bad. Uganda's first action-packed movie. Get your copy now. This is like the director's cell phone number, by the way. It's in the movie, too. So, check it out, though. Look, see these fucking autographs for, like, everyone? I wish I knew, could tell you, talk about who everyone was, you know? There's the cop. That's Richard, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so that's Richard, too. Mm -hmm. Richard's the baddest, uh... Like mafioso he's in the head Uganda. Of, he's the head of the Tiger Mafia. That's right. <laughs> Look, someone signed it, Batman. <laughs> no, no. You see all that? Mm -hmm. All right, now let's go to the next one, man. Save the... Okay, yeah. This is Tiger Mafia poster. Look, this is signed by everyone, too, man. They fucking sign all this shit. Look at this. God, that's so good. Check out the uh, bullet. Belt. That kind of gives you an idea of what they do. You see how those are like sharpened sticks? That like gives you an idea of like the budget of this movie, these movies. This shit is so good though. I'm totally not joking, okay? Like it may sound like this is just like irony, but this shit is so entertaining. I we're gonna link much. all of these. We're gonna link a lot in the well, description. Well, I'll link to the channel and I'll link to the movie is what I'll do. Look at this. Bukunja Tekunja Mitti, the cannibals. You got his first horror-packed movie. I just caught that. Okay, this one's actually not signed. They don't eat trees. It's so good. <laughs> and then here's another Who Killed Captain Alex one. Mm -hmm. Check this out. It's also the front of the movie. The front oh, of yeah, the jewel case. The Expect the unexpectable. It's so fucking good. Yeah, I mean, look at that, man. All real signatures. I can't believe it, man. I wish I could figure out which one is Bruce U. Alright, so finally, the last couple things that we were saving for last time. Let me just my drink for this. So, like, if you look at like, these shots, 
these action parts, they only had one camera. So they actually had to film the whole thing more than once and like to splice the different shots together. So like sometimes like they'll see someone shoot and then the same guy will go, ah, and get killed. You know what I mean? Like they'll shoot themselves. But um, it's really a hell of a, a feat, you know? And they actually like learn Kung Fu a lot of these guys too. <laughs> so it's actually like real Kung Fu from like these Ugandans. All right, so anyway, here's the other shit. Okay, here's Uncle Benna. And this is a refrigerator magnet. And who is that, Spencer? It's Bruce Yu. Awesome, Bruce Yu. <laughs> Ugandan Bruce Lee. That's right. And he's holding a Uca and he's holding a Wakaliwood mug that um I am going to buy the moment it comes out. <laughs> Yeah, that is really I check that site, like, at least once a week, usually, like, twice. Okay, and now check this, because this is actually the best thing of all. First of all, it's some shit crossed out. Seguani da Kilagord. <laughs> it always says da like that, and supa is always spelled S-U-P-A, too. Da Kilagord. Look at that. You see the Kilagord? It's so fucking weird, man. I would get a t-shirt of that, though. I'd wear the I shit out of it. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, that's a, that's a super action gourd. That's for sure. Alright, so anyway, I'm really excited about this shit. I've already watched this movie like four times, maybe five now. But I'll probably watch it again tonight, because <laughs> it's so awesome. Um, so anyway, uh, everyone go watch Who Killed Captain Alex. I swear, this is so good. I can't even think of a better movie right now. I'm trying to think of a movie that I saw, like, I was trying to think of a movie that I saw, like, within the last month that I could unfavorably compare to Who Killed Captain Alex because this is better. And I can't think of anything that even comes close enough to, like, warrant a comparison. It's just, you know, it's like you have to go to, like, Raiders of the Lost Ark or something like that, you know? And I'll tell you, I could probably watch this movie more times. The guy in the red is a Russian mercenary. Yeah, right there. <laughs> the Russian mercenary. All right. Um, okay, well, thanks for tuning in. Happy to share the shit with y'all. And, um, yeah, man, sometimes it's really worth sending away for uh, something. You know, it's really worth writing to your heroes. So, uh, if John's watching, I'm happy to say I didn't have to stand around outside of a venue for like six hours to get this shit either. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking send a little PayPal. Um, Alright. Till next time.